Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are at a truck stop, a little rest stop off the uh, I-59. We just crossed over from Wyoming into Montana and our destination is to drop off some horses at a uh, horse show. And that is just up the road in Broadus, Montana. The place that we're going to is actually part of the ATS expansion. There's a long road that takes you down where you can get jobs and drop off jobs. We are dropping off horses today. Why? Because I thought it was a pretty cool trailer. I will show you that in just a second. Uh, if you watched my last video, we had this uh, John Ruta Pete 362 cab over in the shop. Looked at all the parts and how to build it. I did say at the end of that video that we were going to be taking a drive. And rather than put you through a whole long drive with it, because we did see a lot of the ins and outs, let's see how it drives on the road. But we're really on the last leg of our drive here. We're originally coming out of Casper, Wyoming, and we need to get these horses up to the truck show up in Broadus. But I'm going to show you the tail end of the drive. Then we're going to take a little bit of look around the yard in Broadus from ATS Expansion. But the real focus is going to be on this trailer because after the drive, we're going to be taking this trailer into the shop. This is the Ebby Horse Trailer by SWC Modding. It is a payware trailer. comes in about $18, but man, it has some customization to it. Everything that you can see, the stripes, the colors, the textures, aluminum, chrome, paint, even the lighting inside. It's all options. There's probably at least 20, 25 nodes on this trailer, which is crazy for a trailer. Uh, Timestamps are down in the description as always, so you can feel free to skip around and see whatever you'd like. For right now, let's go ahead and get her started. These horses are probably waiting to get dropped off, so and we are actually in the middle of a job, so let's go ahead and get her started. I've heard good things about you but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. And uh, one other thing, we've got Sarah as our little uh, navigator today. Um, more details about that down in the description. Kind of a cool little thing. All right, let's go ahead and get our running lights on parking brake is off we're only about oof, probably about 5,000 6,000 pounds today um, we can probably even just go ahead and get started in a second so yeah this is the uh, another look at John Ruta's 362 cab over now during a drive And this is basically the way I've done it up. What with the paint on the uh, dashboard like I usually do. Missed that one. There we go. And I've got some scratches on the dashboard. You can put a link to that too down below where I picked that up. But yeah, this is uh, not, too, not too long of a drive at all. You can get on the outside a little bit here and see what this truck and trailer... I think it's a pretty cool combination myself. As I can stay on the road. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was close. Wow. That is why you don't do this. But it's just a game. Well, that's that one's going to leave a mark if I uh, go off the road Get into this semi, so... Left. Keep her, keep her between the uh, between the lines, and of course I'm not paying Turn attention. So, um, if I haven't mentioned it already, this is, we're just running a basic 10 speed today, and the engine is from Steel Productions. It is the uh, Detroit Diesel 60. I think it, I think it works pretty well with the truck actually. And it is a uh, an engine that did come 
with the 362. So we are keeping it a little bit more realistic. I haven't run a DD60 in a while. Last time I ran a DD60 was with Z mods. I ran it a lot in the very beginning when I first got onto ATS because it was the first one I bought and it was my favorite engine and I ran it and I ran it and then I got kind of sick of it. So it's kind of see uh, kind of good to see a little bit of a refresh and a different take on a on a Detroit Diesel 60. But I'm liking most of the engines that I'm seeing from uh, Steel Productions. And I'll have a link to that down below. We are almost there. Are you really going to take me in? Come on, we're just, we got horses. Ah, uh, they don't care. They don't care at all. They're going to pull me in no matter what. Alright, so slight little detour. Let me go ahead and get through this way station and I'll be back with you because we are just around the corner. Alright, so we made it out of the scales, and now we are just down the road here. Keep to the right. We're actually turning in here. Continue straight on. I got this job on Truckee, and I think I uh, sent it to the wrong place, because it's actually you sending me up to... Yeah, yeah. Okay, turn I'm going to... I'm going to... She's not going to be quiet, so well, let me go turn it off. Of that. Driver out of you yet. Okay, I was not able to turn off the navigation. It is set to go to that other place that I had falsely put on Truckee. Uh, by the way, this is part of the ATS expansion too. A little place to park all your trailers and trucks. And it is a bit of a drive down this road. And we'll get her up into six gear. Some pens over there. So yeah, we, this is uh, actually one of those places where we've got a lot of different things in different places and this really long road that's separating absolutely everything. We're going pretty fast for having horses in here. That's probably shaking them around quite a bit. Um, I did want to let you guys know before, because this is a little bit of a long road even though we are at the actual yard from ATS Expansion. It'll be up here on the right in a little bit. I wanted to let you know that I, uh, kind of a preview for Sunday's video, I am going to be taking a look at a new truck. I just got it a couple days ago, really been putting it through the paces, and it is a great truck. Um, it is a payware truck, a lot of value to it for sure, a lot of customization, and it looks really great on the inside, which is always kind of my thing. My pet peeve is, give me something interesting inside, because that's where I am. And this app does not disappoint on that. One of the reasons why I wanted to do a, a review of this truck is because I haven't heard a whole lot of other people talking about it. Um, that kind of sent up some warning flags at first, and I was thinking, well, maybe people aren't talking about it a lot because they don't like it or it wasn't very good. And I've been on at least five drives with it already, and I absolutely love it. I think it has all, all kinds of customization on the inside. It looks really great. It looks great on the outside, too. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to bring it to your attention because, um, like, I found it on Facebook when someone else was posting another truck by this same person. And I was wondering, huh, I wonder what that one is going to be like or what that other truck is going to be like didn't see too many videos on it so I decided to get it and do a review of my own I really love the truck and I'm going to show it to you guys on Sunday alright so we're pulling up here at the horse show and you see they're already running barrels there on the right we've got a couple places in the back where you can pick up some hay places where you can uh, get some other odd end jobs I believe you can even get some fuel in the back um, little place to rest 
But I think what we want to do is actually just kind of pull in here. Hope these hope I'm not gonna run over any of these horses. Everyone else has got their uh, pickup trucks. And I'm here rocking a 362 cab over. Oh, everyone is pissed, that is for sure. Everyone is pissed. Okay. Let's go ahead and get her shut off. Alright, so we made it to the horse show here in Broadus, Montana. And another little look before we go into the shop with this trailer. There's so much detail on here. Did I? I think I actually put Montana on there. No, nope. Wyoming is on there. Yeah, there you go. Because that's where we were coming from anyway. All right, so quick little look here. This is the entire expansion, including that long road that we just came down. You can pick up jobs here, drop, uh, pick up and drop off cattle over here. But if you see over here, this is where we pick up the job. This is where we can get fuel. I believe somewhere here in the back you can rest. Then around on this other side, I believe you can get other jobs here too. Maybe heavy haul stuff, tractors and stuff like that. I believe that's all it is. Just kind of wraps around. It's got some more storage in the back. But yeah, this whole long road is all part of the expansion. In fact, you may just be able to pick up... Yep, so you can pick up some uh, hay bales here. And back here... At the very beginning, when we first turned in, yeah, we can also pick up jobs here. I can't remember whether this is like a heavy haul or whether you're just going to get like, I don't know, all kinds of like wheat and barley and stuff like that. But it's cool that he's modeled out this entire area here where you can get all these kind of jobs. It's kind of an all-in-one type of deal. And then obviously, like I showed you, we've got the uh, cattle over here. So, by the way, um, not modeled, maybe not modeled the best, but what we actually had on here was Budweiser Clydesdales. They're not incredibly big. I think there's six of them. Here's two in this compartment. We got four more. And they're just hanging out, facing each other, having a conversation. They're not incredibly huge, though. And then I believe we have a wagon full of Budweiser in the back, of course. That's what has to come with it when you get the Budweiser Clydesdales. So pretty cool yard by ATS Expansion. But now let's go into the shop and we'll take a look at all of the components of this trailer because there are a few as that horse just drove straight through my trailer. All right, we are back in the shop. There is the trailer. Again, this is the Ebby horse trailer by SWC Modding. I have my other cameras turned off for this so we can focus just on the aspects of it. Let's go through all the different options. Not too many on the chain type or on the body, but we do have two options on the chassis. As we can see, it, barely, it just changes where the uh, axles are, so we can do them together. We can have them spread apart. Um, in terms of the paint job, I just did a customized paint job so that it matched up with the truck because I did this one first. And it kind of matches for the most part. And they have a couple different color themes in there where you can pick your own colors, which is pretty cool. These aren't bad. Uh, these aren't bad at all. There's your Clydesdale colors, your Budweiser colors. And we can go back to what I picked before. All right, so let's get into all of the different features. I mean, first of all, just look at the nodes on here. This, this is unbelievable. <laughs> There's so many for a trailer. Um, so let's go through some of them. So basically, you have your different lights up here in the front. I'm going to go through, and I'll show you the different options. And, of course, there's the ones to place your own. Now, this is the uh, basically this little strip around the window itself. It says that I can't do it. Okay, painted windows not compatible. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and remove it. So something changed there and you just have to go ahead and hit okay. So you've got the default and you've got the painted. Here we have what the glow is gonna be and you can actually customize this on all of these windows including the one in the back. So if you wanted a different glow on the inside, 
to get a different feel. Or you could just make it black, kind of like it's tinted and you can't see anything in there. But those are all the different colors. We also have these stripes across the front. We can put lights down them, change the, the uh, pattern of the stripes a little bit. And then we have the front. We can go ahead and just make it all default. We can chrome it out or we can make it painted. I went ahead and went with the paint because the because uh, of the stripes. And by the way, there's more stripes here. Just tons of options with these stripes. But as for the, these are the actual fixtures on the door. You can make them chrome. These hinges default like aluminum or you can paint them. Now every window kind of has the same thing. This is the frame and we can go ahead and make them paint or open or just default. All four also, this is more about the door itself. Let's go ahead and change it. Okay, so we can actually make the doors painted instead of chromed out. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this other note here, these, this is the edge around it that you'll see. Here's the chrome, here's the fault aluminum, and here's with the paint. And then the last one is what glow you want. We can throw green in there. Beautiful. And I think green had to be reset to, had to be reset, reset to this window default. And you can do that with this door, with these four nodes. You can do that with this, uh, these four. And then on the back, I think you can also change the glow out. So let's go with the, uh, we can go with the painted or we can go with just the default. I, yeah, here's the glow. This is where they want to change it back to default, I believe. Nope, stuck with painted. For whatever reason, it's not changing a whole lot. They just want you to go ahead and hit OK and remove something. But So th that's what's going on with the uh, lighting from the outside. Uh, we've already done that. Now we've got lighting on the side. I'll look, uh, take you through all of the different options so you can see all the lights. Check out this strip of lights right down here. That's what's changing. There we go. And then of course, all of your custom nodes. And then we have this lighting up top, custom nodes. And I like all the different lighting on it. It's pretty cool. Um, this is for the top, I believe. Yeah, that's the roof. A couple different options there. We've already seen all these. Basically the same. Basically the same thing. Now this edge around the bottom. Let's go ahead and hit OK. OK, that gives you an actual step, or you can have no step. Yeah, I actually like it with the step. It looks a lot better. More realistic anyway. How are you getting in that door? question is how you getting in that door okay so we've got a little bit more you can do the frame you can do the highlight color on the inside yep let's go ahead and get rid of it or add it and then these are the stripes on the side or these are the horizontal bars on each of the windows here's the different patterns that you can get in paint and default uh, I believe no this one doesn't have it I think it applies to both of these and then this last node. This last node is actually changing the bars on these other windows, these other three windows. So this node controls these two shaped, these two windows here in terms of the overall shape of it or the overall bar format. And then this one changes the other four windows or the other one, two, three, you know, the other four windows. So that's kind of cool. A little bit confusing at first, but um, do we get this up here? So you can actually have the interior painted. I don't know if we can get a good glimpse of it. You can have the uh, interior painted. You can have the floor wooden. You can have it chromed. Do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Make that light different colors on the inside. Kind of cool. I just leave it green because that's what you see from the outside. Um, coming down here, there's some more options. Now, our reflective tape, here's option one, here's option two. I like more reflective tape, personally. So this is that little stripe here down below the door. Coming in paint and chrome. Just adds like another little strip down below it. We can also customize, that's the reflective tape that we've already done. 
Okay, here are the uh, here are these stripes coming down. I have them in paint, but you can also do chrome or you can do the default aluminum. And then this is the entire side of the trailer. It's set in chrome or we can go aluminum or we can go paint. I kind of like the chrome with the uh, paint accents. And then here's the stripe going down the center. You can have that go away and add lights or you can add that stripe in. Then we have... I guess this is just all of the uh, spots here on the side. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, I've already done that. This is the frame around the toolbox. So we want chrome, aluminum, or paint. Then I believe, so this is the hardware itself, all these hinges and latches. We can do those. Yeah, let's go ahead and change those out. Or we can make them paint. And then this is the toolbox itself. The, or the frame around the toolbox. Otherwise, it just inherits the color just like this. And just like, um, no, I believe it's just like this stripe. Um, obviously, wheels, rims. Um, toolbox. What would we have to remove? Okay, so that changes this entire side plate here. We can go that, or we can go down this route. That's weird. Okay, so you can have like little fenders that kick out here. Um, what do we have here? Almost all the way through this here, um, another little toolbox, and I believe it borrows from the same same thing that's happening over here. Or most people like to just match it up that way. So can it be independent? Yeah, so we kept the paint on the hinges over here, but we changed these back to a uh, chrome or an aluminum, and that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got a couple of different things on the lights. Here's one option. The other, you basically just replace this white light with this uh, orange one. And then a whole bunch of different customization that you can do any type of light order you want. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can include this custom little, I, what is it, like a piece of rubber? I'm not sure exactly what it is. Or we can just go with the reflective tape. I went with the reflective tape. The whole back of it can be painted. It can be chromed or on this bottom section here, or we can make it like a uh, kind of a flat aluminum. So this is where everything is in paint. This changes just the horizontal bars to paint and the fixtures are, they look like chrome. And then this one is just aluminum, I believe, for all of it. And then the back door itself. Okay, so I see there's different types of designs. So these this is just a rear door i guess this one would just have a hinge down here at the bottom where the horses would come out and then of that you have a painted version and a chrome version and then you can get these doors which open the other way right they open horizontally and you can get those in a painted and a chrome version as well we've already done these this just the lights and the frame around it and this is the entire frame around it. So we have it painted, or we can go aluminum, or we can go chrome. So I believe that's all the options. Yeah, quite a few options. Again, well, I mean, at least 30 nodes right there on this trailer. That's pretty crazy. Pretty good value. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below um, about this trailer. I think that it's pretty good. I think it's also really unique because we have a lot of trailers for cattle right now but this is one of the only ones i think besides a small uh john ruta trailer that carries horses but this one allows you to carry like six or eight at a time pretty cool idea but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can see all of my videos and i will see you guys on sunday take care